So I got a uh, quick fix suggestion if you're having problems with your flow meter. If you know it's not worn check valves on your, your uh, chemical pump and you know there's no hoses or loose fittings on all the, uh, the uh, rubber hosing involved and you just can't get your, uh, your meter ball or whatever you want to call that thing, the float, to come up where you want it. What mine's doing right now is it barely moves. I got to open up the metering all the way to get it to come up just a hair and through some detective work with uh, Scott Harley at Legend Brands we were able to figure out that this chemical check valve spring which is inside there you can see it it actually broke about two turns of it snapped loose uh, this machine has that many hours and what was that 1300 and yeah, anyways, let me, uh, you put an Allen wrench in there, pop that baby out. I got a replacement, but you might want to order one of those springs. Just, just keep it around. Probably a $2 item. Keep it in your, uh, your junk drawer for that inevitable day because this is something you can do. And there she is, a new one on the left. You can see how much broke off and that's actually stretched out. So I lost a little bit more than that. Anyhow. Luckily I found this on the floor. Put that thing back in there. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Put that little seat back on there, which sits against that edge. There's a, uh, I don't know if it's nylon or ceramic or whatever, some kind of a bushing there. That check valve seat goes up against. And don't fire that thing up. Wind up your wrist. Get that thing threaded. Come on, you son of a gun. Go, go, go. I'm going to need my other hand to do this. Give me a sec. Well, Jeebus, that is definitely a three-handed event, getting that thing on there so you don't cross-thread it. Snug her down. Don't overdo it. Small, fine threads. And reassemble that. Maybe put a little grease on this O-ring, keep it from leaking. And you should be good to go if you've uh, eliminated all those other possibilities. Why your little uh, diddly widget and your GPH meter doesn't want to rise.